David Paul with you here in the KHLU 11 Weather Center. It has been a rainy, cold Thursday. Temps have been in the upper 30s, low 40s all day. It's about five, six, seven degrees colder than the models had forecast, but we've been above freezing in Houston, so everything's been liquid. And it will stay that way this evening. This evening, still cold and rainy. The intensity of the rain should taper down. We had some thunderstorms earlier in the day. We had a thunderstorm in 39 degrees at one point in the Sugarland area this afternoon. That's a rare day for Southeast Texas. Saturday and Sunday. So a light winter mix is possible, uh, especially northern and western counties. Uh, there may be some icing problems up toward Huntsville, Navasota, College Station as we head into Sunday in particular, but that should be light. It's Monday that the bottom falls out. We've got a winter storm coming in here on Monday that we think will have high impacts across the entire Southeast Texas Houston area, even down to the coast, even down to Galveston, even down to Corpus Christi, even down to places uh, like uh, Mustang Island, uh, all the way down to Brownsville. They may have freezing conditions and sleet and snow as we head through Monday afternoon and Monday night. It's a huge sprawling area of bitter cold Arctic air that stretches from Brownsville all the way to the Canadian border and beyond and up into Canada. I don't know the last time I remember seeing this much of the area of North America, this much below freezing, 10 below at Fargo, Churchill's 27 below, Kugluktuk 18 below, Barrow, Alaska 42 below. This is actually the most concerning number for me because again, if Texas and Houston is gonna get an Arctic outbreak, which we are, it almost always has to start here, Barrow and Carmax. When you get near 50 below up here, that's cold enough to keep it well into the Arctic region, even though it comes all the way down through the plains and into Texas. So we've got more cold air to go. Today was the first cold day of seven to 10 in a row. Look at this extended forecast. We'll look at this quickly, then we'll get into the details. Friday's cold, cloudy, sprinkly, 30s and 40s, 30s and 40s on Saturday, 30s on Sunday, little winter mix possible, especially Sunday, north, uh, uh, northern counties. Monday, it's a winter storm, a mix of rain, freezing rain, sleet, and snow. I think we get a little bit of everything. Temps in the 20s all day, low of 12 in Houston on Tuesday morning. The all-time record low in Houston is 5, set back in 1930. There are some models that suggest we may get down into single digits, but right now we're going with 12. I think Conroe, Huntsville, you do get down into single digits uh, Tuesday morning. Maybe we get above freezing by a couple degrees on Wednesday before the next round of sleet and snow come in Wednesday afternoon into Thursday morning. So this is, this is going to be a long duration Arctic outbreak for Houston, very unusual. Potentially on Monday, power outages, especially if it begins as freezing rain. The frozen precip should start Monday morning at sunrise. If it's freezing rain, that's liquid rain that hits frozen surfaces, freezes, ice builds up, power lines get heavy, and they can snap or poles can come down. Or trees gather ice, the limbs snap, they hit the power lines, and so you can understand why widespread power outages is certainly one of our main potential impacts. The tree branches down, not only making it dangerous for power outages, but dangerous for driving or dangerous for damage to home and property. And then the icy roads that I think are likely will likely make travel impossible, even on surface roads, not just bridges and overpasses, but also surface roads on Monday. I'm urging you just to plan on not doing anything Monday except staying home. If there's some place you have to be on Monday, you need to get there Sunday night before the sleet and freezing rain starts on Monday morning and makes it impossible to drive around town. Here's what's been going on today. We've been wet. It's all liquid here across the coastal plain in Houston. The winter weather is ongoing in central and northern Texas with winter weather advisories, winter storm watches and warnings spread out across central and north Texas. Dallas had ice this morning that caused a huge accident. It was a bad one. So in Houston, it's all rain. We're 39. It is of interest. You see the transition zone, Austin to Tyler. But now in Washington County, hello, Brenham. We're getting reports this evening right now that there is a little bit of ice building up on some of the bridges and overpasses in Brenham and Washington County. So very careful driving out here. It's getting dark and it's getting icy on the bridges and overpasses there. 
that will probably also be the case going into Sunday afternoon for places like Brenham and Bryan and Navasota and Beat Eyes and Huntsville and maybe Livingston. That's going into Sunday. This rain you can see right now is going to continue. It continues to develop and move across the area. It's mostly light to moderate. Going through 9, 10, 11 o'clock midnight tonight, still rainy. There's that chance for a little bit of sleet frozen mix out toward Brenham and College Station, where again, reports are that some of the bridges are icing up out there. Tomorrow looks like a much drier day, but cold, cloudy. 30s in the morning with a north wind, and it's freezing College Station, Brenham. And then we're cloudy and cold, and the models want to take us into the mid 40s tomorrow. I don't think we're going to get that warm. I think it's low 40s at best tomorrow. Wind chills in the 30s and 20s at times tomorrow. Here's the big picture. Texas kind of gets a break on Friday afternoon. It won't last. We go into Saturday. Little piece of energy is going to roll in across the upper level winds on the jet stream, and it will produce a little bit of light rain and drizzle on Saturday. This is noon on Saturday. So this could, in some spots north and west of Houston, produce a sleet pellet or a little bit of icing like we're getting in Brenham and Navasota tonight. This is Sunday morning. Another little impulse kind of comes through. This one, you know, there's Highway 105 or so. So north of Highway 105 could be a little bit of light frozen mix. Dallas getting sleet and snow on Sunday. Cold rain for the most part of Houston. But it is going to be Sunday evening that we'll notice the next stronger impulse coming in. That one producing heavy snow, Lubbock to San Angelo Sunday evening. Again, get where you need to be. Get set up Sunday night before Monday morning rolls around. That's 6.30 a.m. Monday. And this is our winter storm. And actually, notice the low pressure area forming over the Gulf. So those of you from New England... Uh, know this as a nor'easter. This is basically a nor'easter. You've got low pressure forming here. It's going to sling moisture over the top of the cold air coming in and give us all this sleet and snow. The, uh, the center of the low is far enough off the coast so that we're well in the cold sector. Uh, and so instead of a nor'easter, this is kind of like a gulf easter. That's what we kind of call them here in the weather center. It's a gulf easter. And that will be moving up and it will eventually move out of here as we go through the day on Monday. But even by 1.30 in the afternoon Monday, it's still sleet and notice snow on the back. So we may start with freezing rain, then switch over to sleet, then switch over to snow as the whole system transitions and pulls out of here. But it's interesting, the Euro has bitten on the idea that the vertical column may be deep enough of cold air to produce a lot of snow instead of a lot of ice. That would be the best outcome we could hope for to get four inches of snow in Houston. Hobby two, almost three inches of snow. Pearland two and a half. Galveston an inch of snow. Brenham five or six inches of snow. That would be wonderful. Snow is much easier to deal with. But what I really think is going to happen is we'll start out with sleet and freezing rain in the morning, putting ice down, and then snow will fall on top of it in the afternoon. And the snow totals won't be nearly as high as what you're seeing here because most of that will fall as freezing rain, which is liquid that freezes, or just sleet pellets, which are ice pellets, not nearly as pretty as snow. But that is one possibility. That's interesting. So we'll keep watching that the next couple of days. We've got a few more days to watch this before Monday rolls around. So once again, here's your seven day. Cold, drizzly on Friday, cold, drizzly Saturday. Best chance for a little bit of frozen mix over the weekend is Sunday, northern counties. And then Monday is our winter storm with temps in the 20s. Now temperatures, it looks most likely that we'll drop below freezing Sunday night, around midnight, drop into the 20s. So we're below freezing all day on Monday. Tuesday is bitter cold. We wake up at 12. We struggle to make the freezing mark. Then we drop back down to 24. We don't get back above freezing, possibly, until Wednesday afternoon. And then it's only 36. So you're looking at... 24, 48, maybe 60 hours below freezing. That's enough to damage outdoor irrigation pipes. And if, if your home is unheated, if you're out of town, if the heat's off, if power goes out for a day and a half, that's when it can get, get cold enough to, uh, to perhaps threaten pipes in your attic. If you're home and you're running your heat, your home should be fine. That heat rises and it will keep those pipes in your attic from bursting. But it's if you lose power or you're out of town. That's what happened in 1989. The last time we had a big pipe busting freeze 
it was over Christmas. They had a lot of people out of town and the pipes burst and they just ran for, for days while the folks were out of town. And it obviously caused a huge financial loss to a lot of people with, with pipes. You want to cover up those uh, little faucets that come out of your house, any exposed uh, faucets where you connect a hose, disconnect the hose, cover that up. Uh, if you have an irrigation system, you'll have a backflow valve. You want to wrap that up, uh, towels, and then put a, another towel over that or a garbage bag over that is the best way to do that. I'm actually going to uh, put some Christmas lights and turn them on so there's a little heat source. I've had mine break three times over the last 20 years and it's expensive to repair and I don't want to do it again. So that's what I'm doing. I give up on the plants. I'm not going to try to protect them. I got maybe one or two that I might cover up or bring in, but it's going to be cold for so long. It's going to be difficult to protect the plants. Make sure people are safe and warm. Be very careful with space heaters. Use all the safety precautions um, and we'll get through this. But the big picture is it's cold now and it stays cold tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Still, Wednesday night, chance for snow comes in at 60%. That lasts through Thursday morning. I can't remember ever forecasting a cold spell like this that lasted so long. Usually they come and go so quickly, but this one will be unusually long in duration. Take care of each other. I'll have everything updated. We've got updated computer models, updated temperature forecast on the TV side on KHOU 11 News at 10 o'clock. I'll have the latest forecast update then. I'll see you then.